hi everyone welcome back welcome to another video on swell kit and in this video we are going to talk uh, an example a demo example of a uh, data fetching uh, swell store and couple of uh, swell js concept because swell kit uses swell js and we use all the features of uh, swell js like uh, watching a particular property passing the data fetching the data using on mount lifecycle hook or uh, fetching the data from the server side load function okay so what we will do is we'll create a simple demo of let's say the pokemon app where we are going to fetch the the all the pokemons and then you can get the detail of a particular pokemon it's like just a small demo to show things how all those things are connected so we are going to create a page.svelte and uh, layout.svelte is dot swelt layout dot swelt and we can create a routes let's say i have created about route and then pokemon okay there are two routes so this pokemon route can be used when you wanted to see the information about a particular pokemon in this page dot swelt we are going to make an api call using on mount lifecycle hook and fetch the the pokemons okay so let's set up the things and we are also going to use some store so we are going to use the pocky store dot js dot ts and we will talk about it how the the pocky store is doing things we can move the pocky store dot ts outside in the source and we can also have a components like there are some components which you are going to use in the routes let's say the new bar header footer these kind of components you can move outside because these, these are not particular routes these are just components which you are using new dot swelt or we are going to have a pokemon card because when you see a pokemon list you click on individual pokemon uh, name you there is a pokemon card component you need pokemon card dot swelt so skeleton is kind of ready what we will do is in the routes this is the default route and default page will be shown to the user script inside the script we will import the on mount so here we can just use on mount lifecycle hook and then we, we can import the pokemon card component also because we fetch the list of our array of pokemons and then we will just run each loop and then we will render the we will import the pokemon card component inside a loop pokemon card component from components pokemon card component okay we have a small search menu also search bar which will do nothing but you can type something a pokemon name and you can filter out okay so let's say we have a search term and here we have a on mount uh, lifecycle hook what it is doing is it is a sync lifecycle hook and it is making an api call and what we are going to do we are going to have a small store in our application swelt store i'm talking about so what that swelt store will do is that swelt store will be able to store the data and i mean this is same as the store we have in the redux store or something in Svelte. This is a little different way. We create a writable, readable, and uh, these kind of store from Svelte store. This is known as a writable. Okay. And we create a store, simple export const Pokemon. is equal to writable and it's initialized with empty array and you'll keep adding the data using dot set 
okay this is export const pokemon and we can have a one flag loaded true or false because this is the pokemon store inside this we will have a separate functions export const let's say fetch pokemon it's a sync function i mean either you write this in the load function and on or inside a on mount lifecycle hook or you just move these things here if it's already loaded i mean we can have some kind of a life some kind of a check if the data is already loaded then don't do, don't load the data const url we are going to get this from some url which i will define const otherwise it will be a simple a fetch call await fetch to the url const data equal to await response dot json serialize the response okay and we need to check the pokemon api like how the the pokemon data get fetched so loaded pokemon because we need to fetch the, the required things we need the name image and some kind of index and inside the data i will talk about the api which we are going to use i think that api has we need to gather the data from here and there let's say this is the api and you can see there is a count so we need to get the data from the results data dot results name and the image also will get some somewhere okay there is a image name also available i mean for the image name we know how to build the image so i will just put that i'll put that stuff here loaded pokemon simply you just put the index dot png this will give you the image name and the url of the api is this we will just place it and because loaded is actually yes we need to store this loaded property inside the pokemon store pokemon dot loaded pokemon what we are doing is whatever the data we got we are actually setting that inside a pokemon store and we are the saying loaded true that's a, just a local variable to just track if the data is loaded or not and return loaded pokemon actually we put the things inside a store also and then we also returning the results here we can have another call where you wanted to fetch individual pokemon by id get pokemon by id and here you will pass the id this is again a sync function if now you already know the pokemon detail pokemon detail i think another variable we need to have which is pokemon detail if this that is already fetched then we can actually return it so here if pokemon detail already has the id data then we don't need to fetch it we will just return it so it's like some kind of a small level caching pokemon detail of id if we don't have it then obviously we will just make the try catch something like this try catch error and inside this we can make the same set of api call i will just put it i have a snippet of code and inside catch block we can just return null because we didn't receive anything or you can throw it so just passing the id to it getting the json and setting this pokemon detail with the data I mean, we don't need a particular store for it because what i want i'm going to do is this i'm going to fetch from the client side and this data i'm going to fetch from the server side function what you can do is same as the pokemon detail pokemon is already having all the data you can also create a writable store of pokemon detail but that's not needed i'm talking about two different data fetching mechanism here we fetch the data from the client side and set the data in the store and here get pokemon by id here you just pass the id and return the data right away to the uh, component 
okay so for that we are going inside uh, our component again page dot swelt and here on mount filtered pokemon because here we have an input text field let's first write uh, our swelt component swelt head and inside this we can specify title i mean we don't have any seo component or any header component created so we'll put that here in the pop swelt head and then we'll start writing our components h1 swelt kit example demo app okay and then input type text this is same as and we'll just bind it now this is all how we how we do the swell js bind value and i think i can bind it with a search term so whatever you are typing that will be populated in the search term and this is a placeholder so you don't need to write a on change event and populate it like that like we do in the the react so when you type it here we can now look for whatever you are typing in the search field i can check it so if inside this if you keep typing something right so we need to capture that and here we also have a filtered pokemon which will be initially empty so based on the search term what we will do is a filtered pokemon equal to how we will access the store now because we already have available store available inside that we have a data so we'll fetch it from the pokemon store so this is a dollar pokemon give will give me all the pokemons dot filter and i'm iterating each and every pokemon i'm just saying that i dot name dot to lower case if that includes search term dot to lower case if that is true that means it will give me the filtered pokemons otherwise uh, if search term is not there what we will do is filtered pokemon equal to the copy of the pokemons i have right now in the store okay i got the the pokemons what i can do is i can just run a each loop exp each expression and i already have pokemon card component pokemon card component and i'm just passing passing the pokemon object from this loop it's a pocky main pokemon whatever so inside a card component we will build the card component which is nothing but a displaying the information right so here we have a pokemon card component i already have i mean we got the data so how how you access the data passed from the parent to child in the swell js you just do export let The, the variable should be the same i may be doing some typo okay main okay then this is a script this is what you need to write to get the data in this component now inside your template how you will access it you will just write your template and you will access the properties pokemon pokemon dot id pokemon dot name and the image and you are doing a little bit transition here so we can we are using transition false and all property so just import the transition and we have a simple new component i will just put that we might not be using it there are home and about component so inside page inside layout we can just put these things okay this is the layout i'm using so inside layout i have a script because this is the root layout i will import a name 
from components new result okay and i can also import because inside this you can import the styles and everything whatever you need i don't have a styles okay and then uh, you can put your stuff like inside div whatever the class i will use and inside this i will put okay on top i have a new bar then i have a slot there i will put my children's and inside the style so this is all about html inside style i will be importing my tailwind utilities because we are using tailwind utilities here so the classes i'm using is a padding 8 maximum width 6xl mx auto margin auto left and right this is the layout and this is my component so this component will use this root layout they, they we will show header and then inside this component we will show search bar input type text field search term based on the search term i think we should put this somewhere in the top based on the search term change we are getting things from the pokemon store filtered pokemon we are rendering and we are displaying the pokemon card app card component okay and then in the pokemon card we have put an url that when you click on to this it will go to this particular route so for that we have the pokemon route already created inside this because it's a dynamic id right so we'll put new folder id and inside the id will create our files plus page dot svelte and plus page dot server dot ts here we will use the load function inside the server dot ts we will use a load function export const load which is a sync function and we will fetch the data of this particular pokemon based on the id and you can also access the fetch and here const fetch uh, data let's say async id and what i am returning which i can access in the component because this load function will be exported to the component pokemon await fetch data and here i can pass the params dot id it's params i guess params dot id okay and here i can just do the same because i already have the get pokemon by id method inside a store i will just import it and in the component i can access uh, data dot pokemon now right so inside the page dot swelt component this is my uh, component where i'm showing the data pokemon i'm getting from the the store export let data this data we are getting from the component from the server side load function it will give us the data data dot pokemon is the pokemon detail okay so i don't think we need a store here because we are fetching the data from that and i don't want to write a simple html templates here so this is where you are putting the name this all these things are coming from get by id function all the abilities and data dot pokemon dot sprites these are like uh, the json formats where the pokemon abil abilities pokemon name image are placed inside but what we did the concept is important we created a load function we are feeding this data and we are getting this data inside this component pokemon uh, id page dot svelte export led data data dot pokemon will give us the data whatever we need and then now we can run the application it will give us uh, the layout i mean we are using tailwind so i didn't write all these classes but it's all about how we use the tailwind classes 
I didn't do the demo of that part. I copied most of the HTML templates because the concept is important. You can use it without using the styles of Tailwind. So this is the root layout and root page. Here we are rendering all the Pokemons. In the Pokemon card, when you have the data, you are providing this href. So here you are not using router link or some kind of a, a funky stuff. Here you are just putting href that will become the route Pokemon and the ID. So when you click on it, it will look for this Pokemon ID in the page.svelte in the it will execute the page server side load function from the params you will get the ID you make the call you get the data and data will be passed to the component and then it will just display the data so if we just run this app cd apps npm run dev so initially it should display all the pokemons so what is happening here is page dot swelt on mount await fetch pokemon fetch pokemon where is this to find we didn't import it it should return as an error let's see what error we are getting and we'll debug it from there reference error is not defined got it fade is not defined in the pokemon card where do we have a transition fade let's just comment this out for now okay i did the mistake here it should be inside a script okay we see something I mean it's not looking that good when you click on it it should take you to this particular route which will give you this data okay it's not looking that nice because I didn't use the lot of styling parts here but here you can see is it working okay search looks like is broken let's see okay then we need to fix the search first let's see what is in the the page dot swelt i'm able to fetch the data and we have a little search bar and when you click on it when you type on this then we are binding it to the search term so if search term is there what we are doing filtered pokemon is dollar pokemon dot filter we got individual pokemon if that includes this that means it will be a part of filtered pokemon so if the search term is changing it should trigger this is it really happening search term and we put a watcher on the search term so here we are doing a filtered pokemon let's see if this is getting executed console.log filtered pokemon this should return true okay let's see this okay that's strange it is giving me the empty array because there is no filter matches found pokemon dot name dot two lower case dot two lower case dot includes search term dot two lower case okay I made the mistake here now save it okay now it is coming I mean actually I was not calling the two lower case function that was the mistake now you can see I can search filter and all let's say right search is working when you click on it it should go to that particular page show you the image and the, the list of information just a simple example of how the 
how we are writing the components how we are fetching the data and how we are putting things inside a store also because in this example after fetching the data we put the data inside a store like on mount is calling we got the data like fetch pokemon fetch pokemon is defined here in the store which is putting things inside a store and the store data only we are accessing in the component not the return data from the on mount okay a small demo that's it uh, in the next video we will create a, some kind of a layout where we can talk about these individual examples like the page actions form actions uh, dynamic routing advanced routing these are the topics which i need to cover